Warlocks are the magic practitioners of the city of Korth. The center of their power is the House of the Undying, and their elite level of warlocks, known as the Undying Ones, live deep within. Dressing in long beaded robes, the warlocks have white, pale skin, and pale blue lips. The blue hue is caused by their drinking of Shade of the Evening, a mind-altering drug used to obtain truth and wisdom. Due to drinking more of the drug than the regular warlocks, the Undying One's flesh is a ripe violet blue, and the whites of their eyes and nails are such a dark blue, they nearly look black. Shade of the Evening is described as tasting like ink and spoiled meat, but once drunk, tendrils spread through your chest like fingers of fire coiling around your heart. The drink goes from tasting foul to tasting wonderful, like all the tastes you've ever known and none. A warlock explains Shade of the Evening, stating, One flute will only serve to unstop your ears and dissolve the call from your eyes, so that you may hear and see the truths that will be laid before you. It is said the warlocks never forget a wrong, and that they are bitter creatures who eat dust and drink of shadows. The warlocks are feared, though seldom seen, and they are respected throughout Essos. People all over the East seek their wisdom and power, but even then, some don't believe the warlocks have any wisdom to give, claiming a warlock's house is built of bones and lies. This disdain by some may be because the warlocks have done little in the past century, and their prestige has waned over the years. Zaro says, Once they were mighty, but now they are as ludicrous as those feeble old soldiers who boast of their prowess long after strength and skill have left them. They read their crumbling scrolls, drink shade of the evening until their lips turn blue, and hint of dread powers, but they are hollow husks compared to those who went before. However, recently the warlocks have begun growing powerful again. The extent of their reawakened abilities is unknown, but we are given some examples of their current power. A woman that once mocked a warlock's drab, moth-eaten robe has now gone mad, refusing to wear clothing. Even fresh washed silks make her feel as though a thousand insects were crawling on her skin. We also hear glass candles are burning, that have not burned in a hundred years. Ghost grass growing in a garden, Phantom tortoises having been seen carrying messages between windowless houses on Warlock's Way, a blind man who can now see again, and all the rats in the city chewing off their own tails. Whether their increase in power is a direct result of Daenerys' dragons being born into the world, we can't say for certain. We only know since around the time of their birth, magic has become stronger in the world. However, there's another side that claims the dragons being born didn't bring magic into the world, but that magic was already coming back and it caused the dragons to be born. Either way, we know the Warlocks are currently more powerful than they've been in a hundred years. The House of the Undying Ones, before Daenerys Targaryen ruined it, was a grey and ancient ruin with no towers or windows. It is described as being coiled like a stone serpent through a grove of black bark trees and inky blue leaves. These trees were the source for the Warlocks' shade of the evening. The roof was covered in black tiles, many broken or fallen, and the mortar between the stones was dry and crumbling. Because of this, some called the House of the Undying the Palace of Dust. Many mortals have entered the house to never leave again. On the inside, the house was in a similar state of ruin as the outside, and contained many doors. Some doors would be opened when a visitor went by it, and filled with visions. Visions of the future, past, things that might have been, and images of both horror and beauty. Visitors of the house were warned to always take the door to the right, along with always going upstairs, never down, to reach the Undying Ones who lived deep within the house. When reached, the Undying Ones typically showed themselves as being in the prime of their life, strong and beautiful. In reality, they are very ancient and withered. There is a debate if they are truly alive, with Zaro claiming they are dead. When we meet them, they do not appear to breathe, they do not move, and their eyes see nothing. When Daenerys Targaryen thinks they are dead, they whisper back, We live. 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 A blue heart that was rotted and floated above their long stone table may have been their life force that kept them alive or at least undead. With each pulse, the heart would send out a wash of indigo light and a deep throb of sound. Events involving the warlocks in the books, Daenerys first meets a warlock, Pyat Pri, while in the City of Bones. He then escorts her to Korth. He eventually convinces Daenerys to visit the House of the Undying. After entering the house, and after seeing many visions, Daenerys discovers the Undying Ones are attempting to drain her life force. Daenerys, via Drogon, ends up killing the Undying Ones and escaping. Daenerys claims she left their palace all in ashes. 
All the Undying Ones appeared to have perished, but four warlocks, including Pyat Pri, who managed to escape to take revenge. When Daenerys hears this, she laughs but is informed that their powers have grown and they are no longer old soldiers vainly boasting of forgotten deeds and lost powers. However, on the warlock's way to Pentos to enact revenge, they are captured by Euron, who kills one of the warlocks and feeds him to the others. Currently, it's believed Euron is being taught their magic. The proof for this is when we read about him afterwards, he has blue lips. Although the Undying Ones may all be dead, it is unknown exactly how many warlocks that were trained in Korth may still be out in the world. This was a Patreon-supported video, so thank you to Jerry for picking the topic. All of October is Halloween-themed Game of Thrones Song of Ice and Fire videos, such as Dark Theories, Top Killers, Five Terrifying Diseases, etc. Release dates are Sunday and Wednesday, with one or two random videos each week. November, we go back to Sunday and Wednesday release days and continue with the North. A blue rotting horse. <laughs>